Yeah, two TDs for two titties. Two, two titties. That's what I'm gonna get. <laughs> two TDs and <laughs> six catches lucky. for 87 yards. <laughs> Welcome to the Charity Strike, and now the guys who put the S, T, and D into Stud Muffin, Trigger Mike, Midlife Crisis, and Rebound. Oh, yeah. 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 That's all we do. Right. Put an STD in you right now. That's right. I'll put it in your Stud Muffin. There you go. Oh, that's right. It's good to be back. Welcome, everybody. It's the Charity Strike. But don't worry one single little bit, because when we're done, it'll be the charity stroke. Whoa! <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Ah, I love that. Uh, welcome into the show. I'm Gray the Rebound Jones. Over there, that's Trigger Mike. My name Mike Raw. Oh, that was nice. I like that one. Yeah. You do that one every wasn't time. too crazy. Yeah. No, not too crazy yeah, at all. I figured they're a little obnoxious. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <Peyton> Manning. <laughs> I didn't mean to keep going. <laughs> pew, pew. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we have a new soundboard. Uh, and also sitting next to him, that's Midlife Crisis. What's up, bitches? That's right. What do I have for you? I can't wait. Midlife is drunk <laughs> and down to Uber. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to keep coming. Don't, but you, what? Don't Uber without being drunk. That's yeah, right. Say right now. Is it's that depressing. a text reader or something? That is a movie trailer VO guy. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, but uh, before we get any further, we got to bring in... Oh, yeah. You know what it is. Orange and yellow, orange and yellow, purple and yellow, purple and yellow. Yeah. Asshole. You know what it is. Purple and yellow, purple and yellow, purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. Yeah. You know what it is. Orange and yellow, purple and yellow. Baker Fan Dan in the house. Oh, what's going on? What's guys? happening? I'm like, oh, <laughs> man, those are some pretty badass uh, soundboard sounds right there. Who's yeah. the girl seeing orange and purple? <laughs> no, that's <just> trigger. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey, don't worry, Laker fan Dan. We got something for you too. Oh, Laker fan Dan, <laughs> only Raider fan in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Does it keep playing on its own. Uh, yeah, I haven't quite finished the organization because oh. I just got these before the show started. So uh, midlife is drunk and down to Uber. Yeah, <laughs> that's always. Yeah. Anybody need a ride? Yeah. Don't worry, I got one for me too. Sober Greg can't read for shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Oh, it's good to be back. <laughs> Taking a week off. Uh, played the worst show you'll probably ever listen to in your entire lives. <laughs> that was That's true. That was good times. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was. Yeah. I think like uh, Midlife said, Mike sounds like the white shack. Yes. Can you dig it? Humble beginnings. Right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm yours. Yeah, so if you made it through that uh, that show. Whew. Back to old school Mondays. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Don't know why Greg posted it, but he did. Well, why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah, what else we got? <laughs> it's gotten worse from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's only True down pros. Down. Yes. Yep. <laughs> All righty. Let's uh, fucking kick things off Hell with yeah. some ball talk. You love basketball. You love basketball. to say yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Someone get that man another beer. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Yeah. Oh, good news for us Laker fans who outnumber the orange and purple fags. Orange and purple, orange and yeah. purple. Kobe is cleared to participate in all basketball Ooh. activities. Hey. Yeah. Our season is saved. Kobe yeah. is cleared yes. to get hurt again. Yeah, yeah oh the first gosh. six games are saved. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a clean slate. That's right. <laughs> six games in, and then he's going to retire. There it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Poor guy. Yeah, but in better Laker news, uh, Metal World Peace <laughs> signed a one-year deal with the Lakers. See? See? We're that's, saved. That sounded convincing. Convincing in better convincing. Laker news, <laughs> Metal World Peace. Yeah, signed with the Lakers. What's wrong with that? He's yeah. like the actual mentor of the team. Kobe like shits on people. He like helps them. Yeah, I heard he's been like one on one with Julius Randle and helping the man out. Right. Somebody's got to teach him defense. Kobe <laughs> shits on him and he wipes it up. <laughs> I, I, I think that's gonna help Randle too, though. I mean, and then I, you know, like you said, be like a nice buffer with all like the young kids at yeah. least, you know, because they, they're gonna have a rough. Ten season. years ago, would we think that Metal World Peace is the guy you want in their mentoring? I know. Young guys? Yeah, really. Nice flip flop there. He's matured. Yes, rebranded and learned from his uh, mistakes, and uh, mm-hmm. yeah, he'll really teach him how to put an elbow in the face. There you go. <laughs> uh, or beat to. up a fan, you know. Yeah. yeah, how to get nailed with a beer bottle. Yeah, well, someone needs. Why to. Why does somebody throw a beer at me? Yeah. <laughs> 
Throw uh, me a damn beer. <laughs> <laughs> you trash. Oh, hell yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, I love how when one, one would fall, he wouldn't even bother grabbing. He's like, no, fuck that. Throw me another. <laughs> It's soft hands, too, to mm-hmm. catch those. Oh, he's good at catching beer. Yeah, it's like a 95%. <laughs> yeah. Much better than Michael Crabtree yesterday. Oh. oh. But not better than the Arizona Cardinals defense, that's for sure. They that's caught true. everything. Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Rough. Oh, basketball. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. basketball. <laughs> uh, Back geez. to Lakers, yeah. Sorry, I was... Uh, I know, I was trying to fill it in there. Fixing right. some tech issues. I forgot I had a runner test shirt, too. I was, I was, <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I was like, I was like man, I should have wore it today. Whatever yeah. happened to him? <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, I haven't had a reason to wear runner it. Runner test who used to kick a fan's ass. You know? <laughs> Who's that guy? Oh, yeah. you know, right? It's true. Made a world peace kind of, you know, straighten him out. And oh, the rest geez. is history. <laughs> yeah, we well, excited for that. But uh, in the meantime... Sorry, I was just fixing some. We do have some clips from today's media day with the Lakers. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, they, they're asking Kobe some questions about uh, rookies and all that shit. So here's clip number one. We saw D'Angelo Russell's locker is strategically placed right next to you this season. What are your impressions of the young rookie? Well, I mean, I think he's got a good uh, good head on his shoulders. I think he's uh, he has a lot of ambition. And he wants to, be, wants to be great, right? And, uh, you know, it starts there. And, you know, really my responsibility is going to help him just to – Pass me the Not ball. lose sight of what's <laughs> yeah. most important, which is the game. Which yeah. is give right? me the ball. I mean, that's, that's the heart of it all, man. All about playing the in this market ball. with a lot of the distractions, you know, a lot of uh, women you know, the, the criticism <laughs> or critique that may come his way throughout the course of the year. It doesn't matter. You know, you just focus on passing me the ball. What you're here to do and what got mm-hmm. you here, and that's playing the game. And passing me the ball. Mm-hmm. That's right. Uh, twenty four. I'm twenty four. T- this is where the ball goes. <laughs> <laughs> if you see me start to bend my ankle. Catch me. <laughs> Kobe's going down. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why he turned into a wrestler. And it's, like, it's like, don't worry, D'Angelo. You have to put up with it for like 10 games this season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Yeah. And if it was Steve Nash, all I had to do was carry some luggage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, sabotage yeah. him. People yeah, wanted right. Steve Nash around. Like, God damn it. Steve's hurt. <laughs> they did? Yeah. yeah. Steve's a, he's a team player. The only thing wanted Nash around to carry their baggage, and he screwed that up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they wanted no. Steve Nash around just so they didn't have to dribble the ball and could just dunk it all day. Yeah, he was a he was a horrible horrible bell bo- bell boy. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Did I hear about what? He dunk it all day? He said, wouldn't you want to be a player that all you have to do is run up the court and hit, you'll get the ball right in your hands for a dunk? That'd be great. Look at Amari Stoudemire. Kobe can't mil- fucking dunk anymore. Stoudemire made millions on Steve Nash making him look better. Yeah. That's and then he mean. lost millions on uh, <laughs> red wine baths and Carmelo. <laughs> Fire, <laughs> Fire extinguishers. Yeah. It's red, neat. red wine. <laughs> uh, another clip from Kobe being a little more Kobe-like. Can be more of a teacher and a facilitator than the star this year, you think? Uh, I'm not really sure what that stuff means. Ooh, honestly, it's, it's, yeah, I think it's a lot of history. He is, doesn't know what that means. There's media, conversational, debatable content. What? You what? Know, it's, uh, the reality is that we're all mentors, we're all teachers in our own respects. Now, whether that means you know, scoring a lot more, assisting a lot more, whatever the case may be, it depends on the identity that the team takes on. It's my responsibility to plug in those holes and pick up Ooh. wherever we're lacking. Right? Yeah, I'm so, going to Denver for that. Say, plugging in some Colorado holes. I mean, that's the best I can answer you, but I mean, it's tough to yeah, say. Yeah. It you just don't know. Is it, don't know. Uh, yeah. What does question. facilitate mean? Yeah. Facilities? No, I already peed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. What kind Next of dumb, question. What kind of dumb question is that anyways? I mean, he's like in his 20th year and they're asking him to right. change. Yeah. I hate those type of questions. Yeah, anyways. I would say, well, how long have you been a reporter? When are you going to stop asking stupid questions? Plus, like, if you know Kobe well enough, you know what his answer is going to be. Right. Yeah. And no joke, I'm not even making this up. And Midlife heard it as I was editing these clips. There was one guy who said, Kobe, Kobe. And he started talking about the time we met up and you were just a, a kid still and we shared a basket of french fries. Yeah. You remember that? Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> it's like, really? I remember fucking your wife in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so stupid. That guy should have been fucking fun. Jesus. Um, and this is NBA reporting? Yeah. It sounds like MMA reporting to me. As you can tell, it's not quite October. No, it's not yeah, quite Give it a few more days. Kobe will be hurt. Priest, yeah, Kobe will be hurt. <laughs> you can ask him any little question like that. Pre- he wants. Priest is going to be here. Kobe will be hurt. Dwight will be crying. <laughs> we'll all be back to normal. LeBron's hairline will have receded. <laughs> this is almost sounds like a Christmas song for basketball right there. Oh, yeah, those lyrics right there. Like, yeah, oh, I've, already wrote, I've already written a few mm-hmm. on, our, on our road trip this weekend. Uh, we have some Phoenix Suns news. Oh. Kevin what? Johnson will never make the <laughs> Hall of Fame. Oh, breaking news, everybody. <laughs> Fuck you, trailer guy. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Durant has also been cleared to pers- participate in all basketball activities. 
Yay. For his last Silver year. Silver Greg can't read for shit. <laughs> for his last year in Oklahoma City. Yeah, I really think right. he's going to Washington. Before actually. he comes to the Lakers. Do you really think he's going to go to Washington? I don't know. Like he's always was, there uh, wearing his other team's favorite jerseys and stuff like that. That's so. true. Yeah, every week it's a different team. So and why not? Currently mm-hmm. this week it's the Washington Wizards. If he can't win in Oklahoma City this year, they're never going to win. Right. That, uh, the Western Conference is way better than the, what they are. I hope he's not too hung up on like his, su- his supporting cast either because, I mean, wherever he's going to go, the cast is going to be good because he's there. Yeah. He's the best player. I think he matches up better with John Wall than Westbrook. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah probably. Definitely. Because yeah. Westbrook is a score first type of point. Right. Even though he can do it all, it's... Mm-hmm. It's kind of a weird mesh. Yeah, there. Westbrook's too too uh, greedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And Westbrook doesn't want him on the team anyways. Nah, he, that's his team. Get he's him like, out of he's there. like, I'll stay here forever. Yeah, give me the team. That's right. And you know what? <laughs> They'd be fine with him. Yeah. Well, well, they're better with KD, but right. yeah, of course. I was amazed he like almost superman him into the eighth mm-hmm. spot last year. Yep. That was crazy. Put a couple players around him. Yeah. there. still a good team. Wow. So. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um, James Harden, big news in basketball oh, today. Good. Has to stop wearing his Air Jordans because he has an, the Adidas deal now. Uh-oh. Oh. And he was caught in public wearing oh, Jordans. You dumbass. Yeah, the idiot. The Adidas CEO said uh, this this can't happen anymore. He's wearing them like he does. You know, like when a person's about to go on a diet and they just binge eat. He's binge <laughs> Air Jordaning around <laughs> the, the, the world. Like, you Your contract different- starts October 1st. He's like, I can better wear all these shoes out now. Yeah, he's got like 30 that he hasn't even worn yet. Mm-hmm. He's like going to start wearing them every day of the month. Yeah. What an idiot. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> good news. Paul Pearson, he'll retire if the Clips ever win an NBA title. Oh, he's never going to retire. I just became a, <laughs> became a Clipper fan. Yeah. <laughs> I was going yeah. to ask you guys. Go Clips, go. It's kind of a bittersweet question, but would you rather no. see the Clippers win the world title so Paul Pierce retires, uh-huh. or would you rather see him lose but Paul Pierce still play the game? I'd basketball? rather see him lose and then Paul Pierce like falls and breaks his... Oh, and then has to retire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Pierce that wasn't my hypothetical. Pulls Sorry. Steve Nash. Yeah. Perhaps they can carry him off or something oh during my one God. of the games. Yeah. He can come running back in a miracle that... You know, he was healed by Tebow or something. Yeah, I'd yeah. love to like see him like running up for like a layup because we all know he can't dunk anymore. <laughs> and then like a, a rolling wheelchair just takes him out. <laughs> He's so poetic Sorry. justice. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So <laughs> his dog. <laughs> hey ho, what are you doing with that wheelchair? Watch out, Paul. <laughs> Your wheelchair got away. <laughs> what kind of show is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good question. That. Yeah, oh. that is a good question. Yeah, uh, to your question. <laughs> what was your question? About them winning the title. Thank yeah. you. If it came down to like LeBron winning it or the Clips winning it and Paul Pierce retiring, and if he stuck to it and didn't pull like a Magic Johnson, oh, God. Uh, then go Clips, go. Mm-hmm. But I liked I liked watching the Warriors win. That was a fun, that was fun. Yes. fun series. So, uh, you know, Paul Pierce is going to be useless by next year anyways. Yes, that's true. I yeah. agree. He'll be a good cheerleader. Yeah, but, I mean, he's a natural-born leader, so. Straight out of Compton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he is out of close. close he should make a movie. Inglewood, actually. Yeah. Huh? He should make a movie. He should, yeah. yeah. He's from Inglewood, actually. Always up to no good. Live yep. down the street from the forum. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what he that's said. True. I don't know. Uh, Mello was asked if he's still elite, and he said that's the dumbest question he's ever heard. Of course not. So. <laughs> 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 was I ever? Yeah. <laughs> when was I? <laughs> Have I ever been? Yeah. I don't think so. This is 2003? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> you weren't even that good there. Right. It's like, well, I still have limitless potential. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could be good. Yeah. Mello, remember, you got drafted after Darko Milicic. Ew. After oh, Darko oh, Milicic. Man. Oh. So you had to remind him of that. It was a Darko day in Mello's life. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Someone get that man another beer. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, and finally, Anthony Bennett to sign with the Raptors. Uh, he's the guy who oh, came hey. over to Minnesota in the Kevin Love trade. He's a number one pick. Yeah, not anymore, he's not. <laughs> How bad does Minnesota have to be for him to go to Canada instead Pretty fucking to play bad. basketball? Yeah. Right. I'm hitting Canada for basketball now. Yeah, they let hey. him go. He could have went to Phoenix. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> could have. Yeah, that's true. He's like, hell that. Fuck that. I'm going to Canada. <laughs> know, right? He's not a point guard. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Phoenix only signs point oh, guards. Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, Our twin brothers just to trade one away. <laughs> oh, that's there right. There you go. Well, now they're saying he doesn't want to go. Because he's making millions. Yeah. I bet the ultimatum was, look, we can cut you and you won't make the, the same amount of money. Right. Or you can shut up and make the millions that we're going to pay you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But most importantly, Kevin Johnson will <laughs> we'll make, make the, the Hall of Fame. Fame. God. Lake mm-hmm. Mid. Whoops. 
<laughs> Little out of control. Lake over Mid. Here. Lake oh. Mid. Lake Mid. Lake Mid. Oh, yeah. I've been there. The Lake Mid monster. It's a nice lake. Greg has lost all control <laughs> of this show. <laughs> it's true. You nailed yeah, it. But true. Uh, all right. Before we talk about small balls, let's talk about Audible. Oh, yeah. Okay. Haven't done one of these in a while because no one likes to read. So uh, get yourself a free audiobook download, audibletrial.com slash charity strike. No, the for free. In fact, as the board Appreciate says, it. Greg cannot read. That's right. Mm-hmm. Sober Greg. Yes, yeah, sober mm-hmm. Greg. So uh, whenever I'm sober, I got to listen to audiobooks yeah, from right. audibletrial.com Drunk Greg slash can read good. Strike. Yeah, read like a champ. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, let's talk small balls. Now, there's lots of teams throughout this land, but I'm proud to be a Cubby fan. Believe me, 84 was just the start. We're going to bring a pennant to this park. Hey, I'm a Cub fan. He's a Cubs fan. And I'm a Bud man. He's a Bud man. <laughs> Holy cow. We'll win the series before we're through. Oh, the Royals romp past the Mariners. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fucking headlines are. That's why I kept it. Uh, to claim first division title in 30 years. Holy wow. shit. Yeah. Um, and the Mets uh, have secured their first postseason berth since 2006. Damn. And uh, the Blue Jays, I don't even have this written down, but the Blue Jays are in their first playoffs. In, in 20 close years? to 30 years. Yeah. 22 years, I think. Is it 22? 93, oh, it was 93 when they won the World Series. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. With Joe Cotta. Joe Cotta. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. Joe Cotta. Bouncing home runs in Bounces Toronto. balls in the field. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, so, good job, guys. Uh, the Nationals, big news. Nationals, Harper, uh, and Jonathan Pavlov. Oh, my God. Had a nice oh. little fight in the dugout. That was nice. Don't worry. I'll twat out the video. It's fantastic. Uh, so apparently Bryce Harper popped it up and uh, it was going out and they'd already secured the game. She didn't really run to the base. Jonathan Pavelbon, not a fan of that. Run that out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I like co- it. Yeah. Had a couple words and then a fight ensued. There yeah, you go. And right. Pavelbon doesn't just have words. He fucking gets right on you. He apparently punches you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <He> chokes you. <laughs> chokes you out. Yeah. You His best friend is Ick. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's right. Look out, Gino. Yeah. Uh, I like I like Pavelbon on this. Yeah. yeah. Hey, don't be as a, a bitch. As a fan, it pisses me off. I don't care. What the score is? You run that shit out. You're making a million dollars. I'm paying all this beer money that I could have been buying beer for a ticket to watch you, and you just you know give up. That's right. Midlife is drunk. <laughs> what else is <laughs> down to Uber? Yeah. Anybody need a ride? <laughs> Had to. I love that one. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I think it's bullshit. Look, you're getting paid millions of dollars to the easiest fucking sport in the world. You didn't just play 46 minutes of an intense basketball game, and now you're up 10. Right. Exactly. You're playing baseball. You run for about a total of three and a half minutes, mm-hmm. and then you collect millions of dollars. Fucking running out, pussy boy. That's right. The worst part about this is Pavel Vaughn has been suspended for the rest of the season, which is like four games. Yeah. And they <laughs> apparently pulled his jerseys yes. off his shelves. That's bullshit. Oh, my they God. They don't want but fans to like buy it going, yeah, this guy's awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't surprise me from a team when they're about to win a pennant and they shut down their best pitcher. Yeah. So, you know, nothing surprises me from the Nationals. Big shock. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's right, Good Nationals. Point, midlife. Taste the blasters. <laughs> 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 uh, or this one. Pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> or there's the fast one. Pew, pew. Whoa. <laughs> wow. So I good. paid extra for that. <laughs> yeah. And the original. So good. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, go Pabblebond. Yeah, it was awesome. Let's start a, uh, like a, a petition. Yeah. Reinstate Pavelbon. Right. And we'll become a fan. Yeah. As soon as they put his jerseys back on the yeah. shelves, I'm going to buy one. We'll all buy a jersey, <laughs> yeah. a Pavelbon jersey. That's right. <laughs> uh, I'll stand to steal one for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get, hopefully, I'd like to get all you fans out there that know how to make t-shirts, make a, get a picture of that when he's choking out uh, Harper. Yeah. I'll buy that t-shirt. Yeah. yeah. It needs to say something, though. Do nothing, bitch. You know how Ronda Rousey had her do nothing, bitch. Shirt? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the Pavelbon do nothing, bitch. Oh, or like, man. don't choke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't run the bases. He's doing nothing. Yeah, do nothing, right. bitch. Do nothing, bitch. Uh, what else? Cardinals. Carlos Martinez is out for the rest of the season. He has a shoulder strain. Good news for the Dodgers. That's a very Hispanic name. Yeah. Carlos Martinez. Carlos yeah. Martinez. That's my neighbor. I was like, make- <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make up a Mexican name. That might have been it right there. Yeah, or like Jose Perez. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Jose Perez. That's pretty Mexican. Yeah. Good news for the Pretty Dodgers. Good. Maybe they won't get swept. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They'll only Jeez. lose. They'll, they'll lose, but not yeah. in four. Do, well, they wa- do they want to win the division? <laughs> the Lakers? Or the, the Dodgers? Yeah. I mean, they just keep dropping <laughs> games. They, they oh, do I know. Keep dropping yeah. games. Well, when you, when you sit your best player. 
three games in a row. Yeah. Your only hot hand. Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah, Corey Sager, who was the hottest hitter on the team, and they set him down three games. Yeah. That, mm-hmm. was, that was smart. That's yeah. good. Well, you got to give the vets their, their at-bats. Uh, you know? That's true, yeah. How about you win the fucking game? Yeah. <laughs> God yeah. damn it. You know, sometimes you got to put egos before the team, you know? Get, get the vets back in there. Quit pulling the Padres. Right. This is your year. Yeah. It's the every other year. The Giants are sucking. Mm-hmm. This is your chance to do something. They're not getting the wild card because right. that's going to the Pirates or... Who else is who, in that division? It's whoever thought we'd say that? I know. Let's go I the know. Pirates. Pirates and the, but the Dodgers Nationals. And Dodgers and Giants going head to head the next three exactly. games. So yeah. the Giants yeah. can All take do- over. Exactly. Yeah, or the Dodgers can win the division by winning those games. Oh so. Well, God. they got Grinky tonight. That's their big best chance oh, right yeah. now. I know. Fucking Peyton Kershaw is killing it. <laughs> God damn it. Already in postseason form. I know. Well, he really is looking like Peyton right now. Yeah. One game, guys. One game. Yeah. Speaking of Peyton. Peyton Manning. So old he farts dust. <laughs> <laughs> Update: two to one Giants in the middle. Oh well, there you uh, go. Middle uh, of the third, of the course. Dodgers finally scored. Of so. course, you think they don't want to beat the Dodgers? You know, knock them out. Well, you like. know what the problem is: the Dodgers swept the Giants the last time they played, and mm-hmm. the Giants own the Dodgers. So this whole season, other than that yeah. series, yeah. yeah. Yep. Good lord. And also on the Cardinals, Stefan. Okay, Stephen. Stefan Piscotti, because it sounds gay. Biscotti is delicious. That's right. <laughs> was taken off the field after an outfield collision. That was tonight, Monday night. I have uh, the video that I'll actually the the gif that I'll post <laughs> up on the Otwa box. He took a fucking knee to the face, nice. and it was oh, nice. it was fantastic. Tiger. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Angel signed Matt Latos. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Good news, Anaheim. <laughs> Their season is saved. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Matt Latos, the Dodgers' big acquisition. Yeah. When everybody else signed Price and uh, Hamill and all those. Right. Stuff. We'll get Latos. Fuck those guys. Yeah, he and was so good. We him. dropped him. Yeah. yeah. Well, then they released him. Yeah. He's a junk. Angels. Are, oh, good. They released him. Let's get him. Scooped him up. Yeah. yeah that's right. It's yeah. A bargain bin. Get Latos. Houston Street is done for the season. We'll get Latos. <laughs> yeah, because National League pictures always do better in the American League, right? Oh, yeah, that's Always. a well-known fact because they don't have to worry about hitting. No, no, mm-hmm. no. <laughs> yeah. And as Trevor in the chat room is saying, Latos is such a bum. Id. <laughs> well, yeah, he did yeah, say yeah, Id, bum. yeah, but he can't type for shit. So. <laughs> uh, the Kansas City, I don't know if you guys heard about this, Kansas City pyro guy <laughs> is in some, some is it hot water. Cleveland pyro guy. Excuse me, Cleveland, yes. I have it backwards on my rundown. <laughs> Still <JP>. sober. <laughs> that's right. Yes. Have another beer. JPP. Silver Greg can't <laughs> read for shit. <laughs> uh, Cleveland pyro guy, you know, he hits the fireworks whenever someone from Cleveland hits a home run, which is <laughs> easiest fucking job yeah. in the league, <laughs> He's right? He's bored to death. Woo! <laughs> Bring a book, buddy. Bring a book. Uh, he accidentally hit it the other night when the Kansas City guy <laughs> hit a home run. Oops. Whoopsies. The visiting <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> Nobody? Uh, <laughs> And uh, you you should see the video. I'll post uh, the video up as well. Some uh, screen grabs. He looks like he wants to oh kill my himself. God. He looks suicidal. Yeah, he looks, he looks <laughs> devastated. Oh man, I set off the fireworks when someone else hit a home run. Oh no, life oh. is over. Yeah. Maybe bet against them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit. Oops. <laughs> be banned from baseball for the rest of his life. I know, right? Me and Pete Rose will never be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> oh, or Kevin Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, if only I had that ready. Oh, wait, uh, I do. Kevin Johnson will, <laughs> will never make, make the, the Hall of Fame. fame. <laughs> of course he'll make it. He bought a ticket. <laughs> yeah. He'll be right there in the induction ceremony. Oh, man. Uh, and finally, sad news. At the uh, ripe old age of 90, Yoga, Yogi Barrett died last Aww. week. Yeah. yeah. That does Boop. suck. Boo boo was sad. Uh, he's not dead till he dies. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over till it's over. Right? That was a good one. <laughs> How long have you been holding that one for? Uh, weeks. <laughs> I've been waiting for him to die just to say that. <laughs> Add that one chambered. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, die, damn it. <laughs> Anyways, in honor of Yogi Bear, we have 10 Yogi. Oh, cool. Yes. Cool. Number 10, I feel like Dave Letterman. It's like deja vu all over again. <laughs> Number nine, you better cut the pizza in four, in four pieces because I'm not hungry enough to eat six. <laughs> the future ain't what it used to be. Seven, we made too many wrong mistakes. Six, nobody goes there anymore. It's too crowded. <laughs> Number five, that was a slow burn. Number five, you can observe a lot just by watching. Number four, you should always go to other people's funerals. Otherwise, they won't come to yours. <laughs> How relevant. Uh, number three, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> uh, number two, baseball is 90% mental. The other half is physical. 
And uh, finally, as we've already said, it ain't over till it's over. That one's really made it mainstream. Yeah. Over right. Yeah. Over. Because it can actually work, even though <laughs> <laughs> he fucked up when he said it. It still <laughs> right. works. Right. Coach Only can say, it's not over till it's over. It's true. It, it's not over, Rock. Give me some jerk. Wait, what? Brisk, yeah. baby. Don't Jack? remember those commercials? Oh, you don't remember the commercials? White Jack? Yeah, white Rock, it's yeah. over. Yeah. Nothing is over. Just give me a drink. No, that, yeah, it's brisk. It's Lip brisk, baby. Tea. Yeah. I remember. That's what I was getting it from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Midlife was asleep during that commercial. Yeah. Probably. He's drunk. Yeah, it was during TNA. What's the odds of that? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like, what? Drink more beer? <laughs> what? Did you say drink more? Yes, please. Drink and drive? Oh, okay. ES- ESPN alerts. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> phone isn't on silent. Someone did uh, that right. Damn it. Oh, God damn it. Oh. All right, let's move on to the important news. Uh, Tiger had the same micro discectomy surgery as midlife. Yes. <laughs> I apologize for the uh, ESPN thing, but just a breaking news that uh, Yogi Berra died. Oh, great. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> he's not dead till he's dead. I, they probably heard it on our show. So. <laughs> he's not buried till he's buried. <laughs> Tiger had the same micro discectomy surgery. To alleviate pinched nerve that he had uh, in 2014. He's mm. falling apart. Yeah, he is. How about you fucking retire because you're the richest person on earth? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Well. He's got nothing left to prove. Yeah. Come on. Seriously. Just retire and fuck the bitches. That's Please. Right. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Barcelona's Lionel Messi out seven to eight weeks after an injury against Las Palmas. I don't know what any of that yeah, means. That's, what? Yeah. That's Las Palmas. That's yeah. sad for somebody, I guess. I went what? to Las Palmas this weekend. Yeah. Las Palmas is my Pico? hands a little cheap tape right now, too. So. Yeah, I see that. Uh, yeah. Was that mm-hmm. soccer news? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't say soccer next. So Mike, Mike put it on uh, <laughs> something that he sent me. Oh, so. man, Apparently, he's the best soccer player. So, <laughs> oh, thought it's, it was news. Is that, that season's something not over yet? Say, is that something to be proud of? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when does soccer season get over? I don't know. That's, um, that's like saying I'm the best oh child God. molester. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that something you really want to tell people? <laughs> I'm the best child molester there is. I'm so comfortable after I'm done with them. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Scores just about as much. Never been ratted on once. Oh, That's Katie. a good town <laughs> Oh, Katie. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh God. The uh, Pope has never been prouder. By the <laughs> oh. oh, praise St. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Tony Stewart planning retirement after uh, one more season. I didn't know NASCAR had seasons. I thought it was oh. just a never-ending chalkboard. Yeah, rank. I mean... <laughs> Thank you for telling me it was NASCAR. Yeah, th- I, I thought he was a <laughs> soccer player. <laughs> Tony Stewart? Yeah. Tony Stewart killed the dude. Stewart, though? Brick killed the guy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go, Tony Stewart. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. sorry about that. We yeah. We're sorry that we reported that. Racing. Lord, yeah. Lord knows I am. The truth is he got too fat to drive a car now. Did you know how fat he gets, he's getting? Hmm, you can get too fat to drive a car. I, I, didn't, what, I, I, can't I didn't notice car? because I don't fucking watch NASCAR. <laughs> no, every time I like look at a story of him, there's he looks fatter in the pictures that they post of the. Of well, the pew, pew. <laughs> he drives a car and eats donuts all day. So <laughs> he eats donuts. He drinks milk when he wins. <laughs> yeah, no, that's no wonder he's getting fat. Whole milk. He needs to knock it down to two percent. All right. I'm surprised he's getting fat because he the, the sport of NASCAR is just so hard on a guy's body. No, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's tip top shape. Yeah. Yeah. At least the right foot is. Hey, don't forget, they're athletes, all right? Yes, they are. They are athletes. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. All right, uh, let's see the most important show. Hello, ladies. Today's chick of the day. Get your Google ready. Get your Google box ready and your Kleenex handy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Taste oh, of the good day. stuff. Kleenex. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm a skimp at the 99 cent store. <laughs> Taste trick of the day. Her name is Erin Hawksworth. It's the one from two weeks ago. You remember her, Dan. Oh. The one we passed we, over for the Niners oh, yeah, cheerleader. That's right. Yeah. 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 She is a sports reporter. She works for CNN. She's pretty easy on the eye. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dan does not agree. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Aaron Hawksworth, uh, I will post a picture of her on our Facebook, facebook.com slash the charity strike. But she has uh, some great titties. Did someone say titties? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, God damn, that's oh, so good. Oh, hold on, we need another one. Someone get oh, that man one. another beer. <laughs> oh, I'll drink to that. Did someone say titties? <laughs> Pause for comedic effect. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, so oh, my God. Now whose ESPN is going off? Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> it's not me no more. Someone can't hit the silent button. Mine's on silent, so mm-hmm. it's not me. That's me. Whatever. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to take ourselves a little <laughs> a little break. Uh, the chat room has enjoyed Chick the Day as well as our sweet new soundboard. So in the meantime, check us out at uh, thecharitystrike.com, facebook.com <laughs> slash thecharitystrike, at the charity strike on the old twat box. Uh, what else we got? 805-419-3679, somewhere to call sex text. And all the good stuff. We'll be back. We have a few more sound drops to uh, debut nice. that these guys don't even know about. <laughs> oh, and uh, we also got uh, some MMA and <laughs> God damn, we have hockey news. Oh, MMA what? and hockey. God damn it. <laughs> Most importantly, we have football news, everybody. <laughs> okay, football. I'll stay for football. Yeah, we'll go right. back with football and soundboard. Stay around. Stick it's around. like a wrestling match. It's going to get good. Right. you got to build up to the, the, the hot <laughs> yeah. spots. That's to the right. main event. Yeah, there you go. So on that note, we'll be back, everybody. Be back, bitches. Pew, pew. Hey everybody, it's Greg Jones from the I Want to Know podcast, and I want to tell you about the new show. This is an interview-style podcast that's all about curiosity and asking the unanswered questions in order to take an in-depth look at any given subject. An audible falling down the Google hole, if you will. It's about all these times you hear something interesting, you get sucked in, and then you look up and you realize, oh, you forgot to take your hot pocket out of the microwave like two hours ago. The topic for each episode could be just about anything, from talking to an expert on a ghost town to interviewing a World War II veteran or maybe even the survivor of a cult. I'll be hosting the show as a podcast veteran. You may know me from such shows as The Charity Strike and Awkward Apocalypse. I want this show to become your inquisitive departure into audio wisdom. You're listening to The Charity Strike. Try and keep those earbuds in their holes. Oh, that's right. Still The Charity Strike. I feel like I sold Dan. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. This sounds accurate. <laughs> it's still the charity strike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Yeah, everybody. Great to be about Jones, uh, Midlife Crisis. Welcome back, bitches. Make your friend, Dan. Uh, that's right. <laughs> 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 and check it like Monday Micro. <laughs> pew pew. <laughs> Thank you. So good. You have my own trailer. That's right. Oh god. Anyways, uh, I hate to do this to you, fans. Uh oh. Oh mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. But we're having another stroke. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You smell like toast, anybody? <laughs> 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 toast? <laughs> no, burnt toast? <laughs> no, we're talking about hockey. Oh, great. Yeah, I want to drive the Zamboni. <sighs> Triple H talking about hockey? <laughs> Wacky. Uh, uh, when will this segment be over? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, the only funny one Mike's ever done. <laughs> Why is Kane playing hockey? Uh, <laughs> the big red machine. With Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, there is a guy named Kane in hockey, right? There is. Patrick oh, Kane. We're going to oh, talk then, about him. Then that was a good joke then. He's uh, a therapist. Uh, He's a therapist. I get it for oh, 300. Oh, oh. Uh, anyways, first, yeah. Clayton Stoner charged with Oops. killing a grizzly bear in 2013. <laughs> Stoner killed a grizzly. <laughs> <laughs> killed a, he killed Stoner a bear. Stoner killed a grizzly. Like That's what I thought that first headline was. I'm like, why is this a sports story? <laughs> <laughs> some hot guy that was Stoner. high. Yeah. I'm like, how do you do that? Stoner was in Memphis. <laughs> yeah, some guy that was high killed a basketball player. So what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, uh, I guess he killed a grizzly bear in Canada in 2013. Now he's uh, being brought up on charges. Jesus. Wow. wow. It's against the law? Apparently, yeah. Apparently he like falls, did some, falls did some documents. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> Have another beer. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's in trouble now. Instead. Oh, shit. Oh, he's man. not the same guy that killed that lion, is he? No, it'd be no. great if it was. Yeah, it'd be great. I mean, not that like killing animals is super Sober cool. Sober Greg can't read. Oh. Drunk Greg can't talk. Oh, oh wow. What a conundrum. 
this whole show is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of show is this? It's just easier if I say it. Yeah, if I the <laughs> look for it on the board. I, I haven't, you know, organized the board yet. So, so. much for doing it. Yeah, we'll get there. Speaking of Kane. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, there it is. I'm a scared. <laughs> New character, Rapist Kane. Yeah. <laughs> That's not that far off. You can see him in his red pajamas now. <laughs> <laughs> oh Raping Seth my Rollins. <laughs> hey, he's dead. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, hey. Right? Why couldn't you rape me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you're not dead till you're dead. <laughs> uh, Patrick Kane, the big red retard. <laughs> You wear red. The yeah. Blackhawks do That's wear red. red. Oh, yeah. You know, they actually said that on WWE, like, in the 90s. Triple H called him the big red retard. Yeah. yeah Could yeah. you imagine them calling oh, him that now? Man, Triple yeah. H would be a bully or something and if he said that. Get away Triple with H so was a bully. Then. Still is. Right. What was the deal when Kane first came out and he had that little thing for his throat? <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> right. garbage. My name is Kane. Yeah. I am a fruity so poo <laughs> candy ass. <laughs> That was the rock. That was the rock. Yeah, yeah, that was, was so awful. funny. Yeah, well, he didn't talk forever because he had Paul talking for him, and then because Paul he got Bear, cancer of the lung and had a tracheotomy, you know, right? From so the, he really from, needed from that? the fire. <laughs> from the fire. So Paul <laughs> left, and then Kane had to cut his own promos. It's like, well, we've already established <laughs> that he can't talk, so now we got to do something. <laughs> so train Kane apparently had yeah. a tracheotomy with no scarring. You can't talk. That would be weird. Yeah. <laughs> and here, use this thing. <laughs> 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 and then he had another tracheotomy years later to get a real voice. Oh, oh nice. I have a real voice. <laughs> oh, <God>. Wow. Ha 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 Mickey You're King. all mine. Oh, <laughs> Great hockey stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. On to MMA, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> now I can tell you how much I love you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Come on, Pluto. <laughs> Trevor in the chat room says he's going to change his fantasy name to the Big Red Retard. <laughs> 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 That'd be great. That would be a good one. Uh, anyways, Patrick Crane, he was being accused of rape by somebody. I wish her name was Katie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been great. That'd be fucking awesome. Maybe yeah. it is. Maybe. I, we don't know. We don't know her name. Yeah. Her name is Katie. Could be. Could be hey, Katie, Katie Vick. Katie. Maybe yeah. she was dead. She mm-hmm. took Katie. Kane's dick. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Missing what? part of her brain. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he fucked her brains out. <laughs> it's not her fault. Oh, thanks, Raped Frank. her brains yeah. out. Oh. Apparently. <laughs> How about we move that stand away from that stand so they quit fucking raping each other? I'm just going to turn your mic down. Uh, anyways, oh. Patrick Kane's uh, <laughs> accuser's lawyer said there was handy. some weird shit about an evidence bag being left on the mother's doorstep. <laughs> Oops. And then uh, the lawyer quit. <laughs> like this, this story is fucking retarded. I'm quitting. Yeah. Yeah, it sounded like some tampering was going on. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, what I heard is that a nurse handed her this bag the first day of rape. We shall call it the first day of rape. Oh. On the first ha- day of rape. <laughs> 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 oh, a nurse handed her this bag because they couldn't use it or something like that, so she gave a it to her. A swab test in a <laughs> Ziploc. Was it a rape kit? Yeah. <laughs> it was a preliminary rape kit. Oh. I, s- I got one of those at uh, Amazon. Oh, yeah. By the way. Yeah. yeah. Amazon.com yeah. Uh, by clicking through at the charitystrike.com, right? <laughs> do you want to practice your we rape kit We might as well just skills? go ahead and do a plug now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, everybody, you need a rape kit? <laughs> <laughs> need to practice those rape kit skills when you come across a hockey player in <laughs> Buffalo, right. New York? Oh you come across God. a big red machine? <laughs> <laughs> big red retard. What kind of show is this? Don't make me Mid-lo- rape your... Rudy Poo Candy ass. <laughs> Your name's Candy, right? <laughs> yes. Woo! And uh, the district attorney says accuser's mom lied about the bag. Yeah. Duh. What a lying Where bitch. she found it, that yeah. she didn't know where it was, that it was there in the first place. Yes. All kinds of shit's going down. Trevor, oh Trevor says the Amazon rape kit comes with two roofies and a condom. <laughs> 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 that was classy of him to use a condom. Uh, yeah, yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can't blame the guy. Class. And you sedate him. That's that's nice of you. Like Doesn't you hurt as much. You that's were right. trying to get away with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got for hockey. So uh, you know, <laughs> that was hockey. That was hockey. <laughs> <laughs> Hit my music. Get out your pillows. <laughs> Mike is talking MMA. <laughs> <laughs> That may be my favorite. (laughs) 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 Oh my gosh. Wake up, everybody. (laughs) Good luck. Uh, So, Ultimate Fight Night 75 was this past Saturday. 
Josh Barnett defeated Roy Nelson. Apparently the most significant strikes in heavyweight history, which is kind of surprising since Cain Velasquez fights there. He hits people a lot. It's true. Uh, a lot of people named Cain tonight. Yeah. Mm, Ooh, yeah. But that's not with a K. So. Uh, that's right. Oh, well, fuck him. That's right. And he's got brown pride on his tent. Oh, he does. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and then also Uriah pride. Hall <laughs> with a come from behind victory. I'll, uh, I'll try to find this. Those are my favorite kind of victories. Yeah. I'll try to find the gif of this, but Uriah Hall had a spinning back Peanut hit. butter? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Choosy people choose gif. That's you know? right. Yeah. <laughs> he used peanut butter to beat the guy? <laughs> yeah. Put it on his balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not peanut butter until it's gif. That's for sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but uh, Uriah Hall was a Jeff or jizz? I'm sorry. I, uh, <laughs> my hearing's not the best. Both. Days. That is okay. nut butter of some sort. That is true. Okay. Uh, Uriah Hall... Was getting beat up by Gegard Musasi. Went for a spinning kick to the ribs. Ooh. Musasi bent down to block it and blocked oh. it with his face and got knocked out. <laughs> uh, at least he blocked it. <laughs> he did block it. Uh, so Uriah Hall with his bit, by far the biggest win of his career. Round two knockout, 25 seconds there over Gegard. Not the straight guard, not the by guard, but the Gegard Musasi. Wow, 100%. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. Three years after. he commits. He does commit. Yeah. <laughs> three years after his last fight, Rich Ace Franklin finally retires. The wow. ace because he looks like oh, Jim really. Carrey from Ace Ventura. Oh, not Adam Carolla? No. <laughs> okay. no, no, not that ace. Uh, finally, three years yeah. after his last fight to Kung Lee where he lost, he finally retires. Lost to Cunnilingus. I guess he was <laughs> joking with his mom that he was like signing a last fight. And you know, yeah. and his mom, I guess, got really worried and didn't sleep that night and told oh, him about honey. it the next day. <laughs> and he's like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know this. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> now we need a Lesnar. Get that ready. Okay. Uh, so his mom, we I guess. We do need a lesbian. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> HLA. <laughs> yeah. Hot lesbian, actually. Oh, I miss those days. Miss yeah. LA. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We should let Mike finish because we're already tired. Uh, oh, yeah. Pillow's <laughs> out. Uh, so, so I guess it, it scared his mom the fact that he said he was thinking about fighting again, and he decided he's going to retire. 40-year-old man listening to his mama. His mom just heard you were going to talk MMA. I know. She's like, oh, no. No, Mike's going to talk about it. <laughs> I don't have my pillows. But then she didn't realize I'm going to talk more about his retirement oh. than his fight. So. Dumb bitch. Yeah. <laughs> don't make me cane your ass. <laughs> oh. Or, or your brains. Yeah. Don't make me cane your ass out. <laughs> that doesn't work, does it? Are we done yet? <laughs> nah. Not that well. Uh, this, this weekend, <laughs> pay-per-view, UFC 192 in Houston, Texas, Toyota Center, Daniel Cormier, the official heavy, uh, light heavyweight champion of the world because John Jones oh, almost yeah. killed a bitch. He ran away from it. Yeah, <laughs> and ran away <laughs> up a hill, then back down a hill. Uh, he'll fight Alexander Gustafsson for the light heavyweight title of the world. Alexander getting a title shot after Ooh. coming off of a loss his last fight. Hmm. Uh, nine uh, Makes sense. Johnny Hendricks, the former welterweight champion of the world, will fight Tyron Woodley there. Ryan Darth Bader will fight Rashad Evans, probably for the number one contendership for the light heavyweight title, probably. should John Jones not come back soon enough. Hmm. You know this, Midlife. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, huh. Follow this shit like, like a man. And Ooh. then Jessica I will fight Juliana Pena. That should be a good fight. Are they I? hot? Oh. Any of them? Uh. Uh, Juliana Pena is, like, decent. Jessica I is decent. Would you jerk it I mean, it they're in either? shape, so they got great bodies. Would you jerk it to either one of them? If I had no, to. No, they're girls. If I had to. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, Matt, well, if he said yes, I'd know they're a very manly one. <laughs> There's no dicks <laughs> in the room. Yeah. You know I'm going to. That's right. And that is the fighting news. Get out your pillows. <laughs> Mike is talking <laughs> MMA. Uh, KJ Hall of Fame? Yeah, that's right. I don't think so. Uh, by the way, like we said before, if you need rape kits or anything else, get that shit on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're going to shop on Amazon, thecharitystrike.com, click on the Amazon banner. That simple. One extra little step. Step. Or step. Won't, won't cost you anything else. We'll probably display that rape kit sale too. Uh oh, Ooh. that'll be right on our Twitter. If page. Amazon yeah. really had a rape kit, I would fucking <laughs> I'd fall over laughing. That'd be that'd be so ridiculous. So, I'll anyways, that up. yeah. <laughs> Not that I'd be raping anything, but no, well, after the after the show, you may. Uh, well, you are sitting next to Mike. Yeah, that's not rape. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that's true. He begs for it. Yeah, the cherrystrike dot com <laughs> slash. Nope, the cherrystrike dot com. Click on the Amazon banner. Holy fuck. He is raping my oxygen. We should die already. Silver nomenclature for when a quarterback is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, well, we're not really going to get a chance to use this one in context, but it's one of my other favorites. Aaron Hernandez taking out his own form of justice. <laughs> <I like it. laughs> Tony Romo will not need surgery. 
But he's oh, going to wow. be out at least seven games. <laughs> so, good uh, news for Dallas. Yeah, good. Yeah. Great news for Dallas fans. Yeah, all right. Even better news, better news for uh, San Diego Johnny, who not only had <laughs> Tony <laughs> Romo, oh, man. also had Des Bryant. Oh, uh, man. Season over. I thought I was looking bad with my Andrew Luck. Nope. That's what he gets for ch- changing the defense points, right? <laughs> That's what he gets for changing <laughs> the rules after we draft it. Oh, man. I see we... we uh, Mind you, Chad, it is called a GIF, not a GIF. No, so you're wrong. You know. Just you're so wrong. you know, that's, yeah. that's what the creator calls it. Let's so. let's impeach the uh, league GM. <laughs> that's true. Uh-oh. Impeach me. I don't care. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, Matt Castle was picked up <laughs> in Bro. Trevor. Fuck the defense points. So gay. <laughs> it's part of I know. Game. I got <laughs> negative six <laughs> this week. Fuck those points. Yeah, you did. I know, right? Who I only scored like a 200 points because uh, I got like 50 from Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever I'm playing got negative one. <laughs> you're playing uh, DeMarco Polo. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. <laughs> who is that? And he's still lost. Who's uh, DeMarco Polo? It's uh, da- or John's friend, David. What a homo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Friends with John. Uh, and then, uh, anyways, Dallas picked up Matt Castle as their backup. So, we, you're saved. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steelers, Big Ben Uh-oh. sprains yes. his cock. I mean, uh, Oops. sprains his MCL. He's out four to six. Ouch. Michael Vick? Yes. That's bad news. I thought, I thought is he... Rob- um, Go ahead. I thought Roethlisberger was going to be hurt a lot longer than that. I thought it was an ACL. It looked pretty bad. Yeah. I thought it was a blowout ACL and yeah. it was over. Luckily, he's not Derrick Rose. Yeah. <laughs> he's got bizarre. It's true. He might come back early, too. <sighs> and lucky for them, too. I mean, I don't really see anybody running away with that division too much. No, the Ravens. Well, I don't know. Cincinnati looks pretty damn good. Yeah, they do. They so. do. But but they're right behind. Yeah. So. And bad Andy can show up, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? With Antonio Brown, anything's possible with Mike Vick, so. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Can Antonio Brown work all miracles? I don't we'll know. find out. Yeah, we will. Don't See. don't bring your pets to this team. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so does Vic like pay guys to hurt the quarterback? Because it seems like every team he's on is a backup. Oh, no shit. The quarterback, the starting quarterback, gets hurt. Wow. Fucking Tanya Harding or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Six his dogs on him yeah. or something. <laughs> <laughs> Take the knees out. <laughs> hey, it was his knee. Uh, Brett Favre and Terrell Owens are among uh, first year Hall of Fame nominees this year. Oh wow. But definitely yeah. both deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Johnson <laughs> will, will never make, make the, the Hall, Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> it seems a little early. Maybe I just am feeling like an old man. It seems early to have them already in the Hall of Fame, especially Terrell Owens. Five lines. years. Is yeah. that is that the requirement? The requirement. Five, uh, years. five years. They haven't been playing a while. A while. A while. <laughs> yeah. And there has five been, years. What about uh, how long does it take until you stop sending dick pics to you? Know? <laughs> oh, that's it's not illegal unless she says no. So. Uh, well, okay. Yeah. So, that go in the Hall of Fame? Did Favre get, <laughs> did Favre get arrested? <laughs> yeah. Did Favre uh, get no. arrested? She must have wanted it. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. if the... Uh, Who glove, doesn't? She wanted the D pick. Ah, hell, put a picture of old smoke crotch up there. <laughs> 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 old smoke crotch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> she had a lot of pubes. That's all I'm going to say. A lot pew, of pew. pubes. Pew pubes. <laughs> pew, pew. Bzz. <laughs> 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 uh, what else? Uh... Cam Chancellor ended his contract holdout with the Seahawks. And they won. And they won. What a surprise. By the way, what a fucking pussy. Uh Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. I'm going to... I don't agree with this whole, like, I want to get paid more money, so I'm going to hold out. You signed a contract. You and your horrible agent have signed you up for too little money. That's your problem. Mm -hmm. You signed the deal. You should not be allowed to do this. You should... You know, this should be a breach of contract, and they should be able to drop you for it. Here's what I see out of it, though. First off, Marshawn Lynch did this, and so did Michael Bennett, and they both got more money for it. Except for Bennett this year. He did it last year. He got it. But this year, they said, Someone get that man another beer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and second, he proved how vital he is to that defense because they look like shit the last two weeks. <laughs> this week, I mean, it was the Bears, but he was out there kicking ass. So. But I'm just saying, I don't think you should be allowed to do that. No, but he. I think what he did is he showed them, here, play two games without me, see what happens. And Earl Thomas had to come out and say, yeah, Cam Chancellor tells me. The we're Wendy's we're. guy? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Earl Thomas Dave is apparently Thomas. <laughs> Earl Thomas is the other safety, and apparently he was the best safety on the team. Mm-hmm. Well, he had to come out and say, no, Cam Chancellor tells me where the line up. And Bacon that's why I do sounds so well. good right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That spicy chicken sandwich. Did he deliver? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finger and some chili. Mm. <laughs> you Finger some chili? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't think you should be allowed to. But now, okay, so he's done it. Uh, what a fucking puss bag mm. for coming back after only a two-week holdout. Yeah, for the, nothing. You want to make a difference? Hold out longer than two weeks. Right. Yeah. The Seahawks owner was getting pressure from the rest of the league owners to not 
give in to his demands. Oh, really? Yeah, because they would set a, twice already, so. it set a precedent of like, oh, that's all it takes? Well, everyone's going to do it now. So uh, I don't. I like that the Seahawks did not give in, but I also think that Cam Chancellor is a fucking badge. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? He did prove his worth. Paul Heyman. So as soon as uh, the, the season's next. up, he's going to get more money. He's going to get a lot more money. Yeah. He may. But that. Uh, yeah, how about you do it in the off season? This whole yeah. because you and fucking don't. How know, I agree. How do they know what they don't have unless you prove to them what they don't have when you're not there? Hey, just like uh, Shell Crow says, you don't know what you got till it's gone. That's right. <laughs> and she covered that. Hey, Seattle, put up a parking lot. Yeah, it's true. I mean, it is a little harder for defenses to kind of like say how much they're worth. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. they're they're not out there scoring touchdowns oh. and hundred yards and. And when the media was saying Earl Thomas is better, yeah, well, wait until I miss two games. You'll see what Earl Thomas can't it's do true. without me on the field. Yeah. And Earl Thomas came out and said, yeah, Cam Chancellor tells me where to line up. So. I, I do agree. that Who wants bacon? It is kind of. <laughs> 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 I do. I do. <laughs> no, I do agree that that is kind of like bullshit that, you know, that they can pull some shit like that right. and like say, hey, like I know I signed this contract, but I don't want to play for it anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I, it's stupid. Yeah. I, I also kind of think, though, that if that's how they've been negotiating, then he's got a right to do it. I guess, but that's could what you, they're doing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Could you imagine you woke up tomorrow and was like, hey, I'm not getting paid enough. I'm gonna hold out on going to work. You get terminated. <laughs> yeah, you get fired. Yeah, yeah. it's called insubordination. <laughs> yeah, you and your you and your agent sat yeah. down and said, "Look, we think I or you are worth this much." Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, Let's I'll sign. I'll sign right now. Yeah. yeah. And then a year later, you say, "Wait, I'm worth more than that." Yeah, I also you think though, the I am the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> 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 where or I think they're they're also kind of in the rare position where it's like, where can you find another Cam Chancellor? Yeah, you know what yep. I, mean? I mean, yeah, he's got him by the balls on that. Yeah, it's like you can find another Daniel. Like <laughs> <your bad> Dan. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Wait, no, you can't. I want to stay on the show. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be other Mexicans who don't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, I Somewhere. am one of a kind. <laughs> RBD. I am the Cam, Chan- I'm the Cam <laughs> Chancellor of TCS. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't hold out on us. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Not dirtbag. <laughs> Laker fan Dan. <laughs> Only Raider fan in the room. <laughs> it's uh, true. It is true. That's a fact. Yeah. No lies there. <laughs> Uh, also, speaking of Seahawks, Marshawn Lynch mommy says that uh, Darrell Bevel is the worst play caller ever. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ever. Oh, man. She said to the smart ass A- AZZ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's white. To the smart ass <laughs> media who wrote that's why Marshawn didn't get the ball in the Super Bowl. How many times did Russell get sacked yesterday? Ooh. Her name is Delisa. Oh, my gosh. Wrote on their post. Don't worry. I'll wait on the answer. Plus, it was totally different at the Super Bowl. The line was better than yesterday. No blocking in the offensive caller who should have been fired. Ooh. Yes, I said fired. Ooh. He is the worst play caller ever. Fired. That's right. The only reason he called that dumb ass. Ooh. You probably can't spell ass. <laughs> I mean, that's it. That's right. Dumb ass play yesterday is to be able to justify the one yard that wasn't called in the Super Bowl. But most fans already <laughs> figured this out. We're still on a mission. Actually, we're still on a mission. Uh-oh. But I know the Seahawks staff loves a play caller more than a win. Go figure. Hashtag NFL don't play me. Hashtag. It was at the end. of. She doesn't know how to use hashtags. <laughs> the hashtag was at the end of the, the hashtag. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I was hoping she'd show me. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Uh, I love this team. We'll stand up to anybody who tries to destroy it. Boom. Wow. What she's talking about is that they went for a fourth and one and gave the ball to Marshawn, and he failed like he did actually this week too. There was a fourth and one, right? And he couldn't make it either. So see, he's a fucking bum when it comes to third and one, fourth and one. That's That's kind of what happened last year at the Super Bowl. That's why they threw it on third and one. That's right. Hmm. He's a failure. (laughs) And she's saying it's because of the play caller. Plus the fact that uh, if she was white, her name would be Lisa. But since she's black, her name is Dudlisa. Oh. I had to to say it. I had to say it. Lisa's not good enough. I'm not a racist. That was racist. (laughs) (laughs) That's coming coming for you, midlife. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. What's up? No. Damn it. Why did I have to say that? Look what you opened up. By the way, one of my Christmas songs I wrote this weekend. Definitely bad at Hulk Hogan. Yes. Yeah. What's up, nigga? Uh, <laughs> oh, your geez. song, buddy. Your song. Nigga. <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> I am so sorry I said What's that up, now. What's up, nigga? Oh, uh, man. Nigga. 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 Hulk, please. <laughs> Dang. Jeez. I think he's got them all out now. <laughs> you know, that right NWO heel turn was good. He's trying to outdo it right now. Yeah, ironically, <laughs> he turned heel and went black. Yeah. Somebody's got black and white. Something he's got racist uh, Tourette's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Hollywood Hogan. <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got a little bit of a tip. Yeah, he's got to like turn face though. <laughs> and he'll be Inglewood Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> True that. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Adam Jones says he won't change his style. Adam Jones, of course, the one who uh, beat your Amari Cooper right. head into the into the helmet because he knew he was busting his ass. That's right. <laughs> he's fined thirty five thousand for uh, doing that. And he says it's way too much. Thirty five thousand is a lot of money for a guy out playing football. But it is what it is. I'll appeal, and if it gets appealed, hey, good. If it doesn't, I guess I donated to somebody's college fund. <laughs> like I thousand. Yeah, it's a lot of money for him, I'm sure. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to let whatever happen on the field stay on the field. Everybody knows <laughs> how I play this game. That's not going to stop. Uh, I don't want to do nothing to hurt my team. I've got to keep my cool and play within the lines. Oh, that's not Amen. playing within the lines. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Silver Gray can't read for <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not playing within the lines. That's bullshit. Here's the thing. I fucking hate the Raiders, as we mm-hmm. all know. Oh. That's yeah, that's well documented. Yes. <laughs> but what I th- I think Adam Jones should be kicked out of the league for what he did. Ooh, wow. And here's the thing. All right, so the guy walked away with not a big injury, no huge concussion. Right. He's fine. But that, I mean, these people are animals on the field, and their job is to take each other out via tackle. And that's injury-prone enough. And then you've got this ass face who comes out and slams the guy's head against his helmet because he's mad. Hey, pussy boy, how about you control your anger and play the fucking game? Yeah. I don't care a little bit of, you know, if you if something happened and you want to fight about it, you guys want to fucking throw punches, I'm all for a manly little bit of fisticuffs. Hey, man, I'm <laughs> just on. playing within the lines. Hold on. I'm off for some fisticuffs, see? <laughs> <laughs> but this bullshit where you've tackled him, he's on the ground, then you take his head and slam it into a helmet. There's no fucking place for that in sports. That's dumb as shit. I'm just here playing within the lines. My- <laughs> yeah. Thanks, fucking Marshawn. <laughs> no, that's a, that, that's true. I mean, me going back to old school football where it was yeah. a lot rougher than it is now, uh, that was... Yeah, leather that helmets. Was, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's the guy's laying down <laughs> and they slam his head against the, the helmet. That's That's... No. He should be. He should have been kicked out of the game. He should have been suspended for, as, I don't know, at least a few games. At I least agree. nothing. And the referee stood there and watched him do Didn't it. Nothing. Yeah. Wasn't kicked out of the Didn't game. Do shit. It took him over a week to get fined. Yeah. You know what? It's Look, ridiculous. I'm. I, I don't care about leading with. If you want to tackle with your head and give yourself some fucking brain damage, I'm all for it. It's a better game. I want the kickoffs to be fun again. I want these guys yeah. to catch the ball and fucking. I'm all for head injuries. <laughs> when when you decide to give yourself a head injury. That's they get, right. They get paid to do this. Right. That's right. They get paid millions of dollars. That's true. Those. I mean, yeah. Even more than Bryce Har- Harper, who's a fucking pussy. <laughs> but when it comes down to you are on the ground defenseless and he's slamming your head against your yeah, own that's, helmet, that's horseshit. That's a cheap yeah. shot. Yeah. Yeah, 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 to what you're saying, Amari didn't sign for that shit. He didn't right. sign no, up for that. He was just laying <laughs> there. He's, you know, he's playing the game. Yeah. The guy comes up, takes a cheap shot like a pussy, yeah. and he gets away with it. Yeah. I mean, Thirty-five thousand dollars—that's chump change for him. It's yeah. nothing. Yeah. How about you pull his helmet off and punch him in the face no like a kidding. real man? That's yeah. right. And then have a fight into. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm okay for injuries. I'm okay for fights. I'm not okay with. I think that's horseshit. Yeah. And, and you know the, the the sad fact is if if Cooper would have jumped up and took a swing, he'd probably been kicked out of the yeah. game. Yeah. Yep. That's true. That's bullshit for taking a swing, even if he missed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's true. Swing and a miss. Here's You're the out thing. of the game. He does. He mean. He would have been within his rights to do of it. Of course, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Any man, man up. Would have. Yeah. As a man, yeah. 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 Here's the thing. And this is going to sound really sexist, but Uh-oh. fucking Adam Jones tries to conf- uh, inflict head trauma onto Cooper. After it, the tackle. After a tackle. Play is dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no ejection, no suspension, barely fined. Ray Rice... Punches someone in the <laughs> face, <laughs> while not good. I feel like less permanent damage was inflicted. Mm-hmm. She yeah. did marry him, <laughs> and then she married him. Yeah. Oh, Amari Cooper and Adam Jones. Yeah, <laughs> Here comes the bride. That's all he was doing. <laughs> Who's the bitch in that it's relationship? Like, would you go to the prom <laughs> with me? <laughs> <laughs> well, Pac-Man swallows balls, right? That's right. There mm-hmm. you go. I'm just saying. Waka waka waka. You know. <laughs> Uh, and then his teammate, you know, standing over the guy yeah. while he's slamming Letting his head with the helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Adrian Peterson, a couple of cuts on his son's ball sack. <clears throat> no permanent damage. <laughs> this is permanent head head injury 
conflicting, whatever. Yeah. I mean, that's horseshit. And the NFL yes. is supposed to have, have this big thing for right. concussions and all this, you know. They just got sued over concussions. Yeah. You think they might yes. be a little more <laughs> careful. Yeah. They're supposed to be, you know, really sensitive towards it. And then right. this is this blatant thing that they, yeah. you know, oh, we'll just let it go. $35,000, <laughs> which for uh, r- regular people is like 50 cents. Right. Hey, your balls were two PSI under regulations? Yeah. Four games! We're going <laughs> to, we're going to, Spend the rest of your life in court over this. Yeah. Right. Four games oh, and a man. shit ton That's of litigation. Bullshit. This is all bullshit. Yeah. That's right. Potential permanent brain damage. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Swear jar. How many beers do we have to get into angry rant mode? I think we've had <laughs> it. I'm actually, <laughs> number two. <laughs> oh, you know, really? Yeah. And as a Raiders, usually I don't care. I know. <laughs> We're all angry over here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to hit was, somebody. That's last right. last <laughs> week when I was sober and I saw it, it was like, oh, Oakland Raiders. I don't know. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Mari's my wide receiver, so I got to protect the man. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone <laughs> get that man another beer. That's right. Please. 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 Yeah, because I'm fucking angry. I'm about ready to drive. <laughs> 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 In fact, can you hand me one of those? Like your oh, yeah. Again? Gracias. No problem. Oh, uh, hold on. Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> hell no. I know. I, I threw it to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you just didn't uh, see it. Yeah. What? He's standing in the corner of the studio. What? <laughs> and threw it to him. What? Anyways, I'll digress because I think it's absolute horseshit. Yes. But, uh, I had to get that out there. Uh, uh, All right. There's that. All right. Let's talk a little Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. So old he farts dust. <laughs> 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 wow. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Peyton Manning eclipses the 70,000 passing yards mark last week. I fart dust right out my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Midlife's done, everybody. That's right. <laughs> Yay! I can go home now, right? Yeah, yeah you... while we're still in angry rant ro- mode, oh, those yes. commercials make me angry now. <laughs> oh, I love those uh, commercials. Do you really? <laughs> oh, the new one's a parody on. of the old one. Yeah, it's the latest lame. one's kind of lame. kind of lame. I agree. I do love the original Cause, one. Cause okay, he, yeah, the original one. Because he looks at the chicken parm, and then what's her name, bitch, gets to say chicken parm. Chicken parm. He's like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't make wow. it fun Feel to like say. I've seen what this an angry before. drunk guy. Yeah. <laughs> no. This is what happened when Mexicans drink? They get angry or what? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys Mexican then? See. I weigh. No, beer, beer three, I'll be feeling better. <laughs> Just keep going. That's right. And uh, while we're talking about records, uh, Tom Brady over here. Tom Brady isn't the only one who likes his balls tender. That's Ooh. right. Reaches 400 touchdown pass Damn. milestone. Damn. Wow. Yes. Uh, I can't use this one, but uh, since he's on Brady's team. Gronk if you're horny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That was a good I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Brady's on a mission this year, man. He's yeah. pissed. He's like, I cheated, so now I got to be extra good. Yeah. yeah. I don't get that team. They're way better when they get caught cheating. Brock. Spygate, yeah. they go 16-0. to <laughs> This year, looks like they're about to go 16-0 and again. Yeah. Well, it's just like a husband who gets caught cheating. It's like, oh, I love you so much. There's oh, yeah. flowers every day. And, <laughs> oh, no, she was ugly. I was just fucking her yeah. because I was uh, not. Best husband because she ever. wasn't you. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. I need to meet some strange, and you're a yeah. disgusting guy. All of a sudden, he's husband of the day. You know. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> It's true. I love how Tiger got a divorce and then did the sex therapy shit. It's like, dude, you've got all the fucking pussy you could fuck now. Why are no. you doing now that? Now is not the time for <laughs> sex therapy. This is when you right. can do it. Yeah, this is time for the rapist. Right. <laughs> not therapist. I will rape you. Uh, <laughs> oh. Time to hang out with Kane and Katie. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, how dare you. Um, anyways, Cam Newton says that referee Ed Huchuli. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> said I wasn't old enough to get a call. Uh, Cam Newton was ticked off about being told he wasn't old enough to get a personal foul called after being hit on the out of bounds in Sunday's 27-22 victory over New Orleans. Who would have seen that one coming, by the way? Cam uh, thought a penalty could have been called early in the fourth quarter when he was hit hit hard near the out of bounds marker by defensive tackle Tyler Davison after throwing an incompletion. When the two-time Pro Bowler asked F- referee Ed Hochuli, bless you, thank you, about <laughs> the call, Newton said he was told. You're not old enough to get that call. I, he said, I looked at him like, Jesus, I didn't think you had to, had to have seniority oh, Jesus. to get a personal <laughs> foul or anything like that. So, uh, hmm. I don't know. Ed, Ed Hockley came out and said today and said, I didn't say that. What the fuck is he talking about? Ed Hockley, to me, has never been in any controversy other than, you know, 
Showing off his huge guns. biceps for no reason <laughs> yeah. as a referee. Yeah. Yeah, I think I had to give him some baggier shirts, but he man. Doesn't seem like crazy. <laughs> he's never come, he never has come across as a guy that would make a controversial statement like that to me. He seems like he's pretty secure in his masculinity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, according to him, he said... First I, down! Yeah, for <laughs> all the people that can see this. Flexing while he's calling all the plays. He's, <laughs> somebody said, uh, you're a, a runner, so it doesn't apply or something like that. Yeah. Or you're not wide enough to get that call. I forget what he said. Oh. Wide enough. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, who knows? I mean, if he said it, that was really stupid of him because everything leaks out nowadays. Mm-hmm. I'm sure we got video somewhere. Uh, it was really said. Tell me on that field was Mike. They always mic one of the players. <laughs> So, yeah. Has oh anyone yeah. even seen the call though? Like, is that blatant to the point where it's like, yeah, hey, you should have got that call, or is he just being a fucking? I didn't baby? see the call that they were talking right? about. Right. So I, 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 I don't know. Say They're it. not really showing it either. Just showing like him, like whining. When I saw the statement, it just se- seemed out of character for Ed Hockley. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything about Ed, but uh, Joey Crawford came out in support of Ed. <laughs> so uh, I'm going with what Ed said. <laughs> Get him oh, out yeah. of there. If Joey supports him, I'm 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 done. Does he, he like Tim Duncan? Fuck him. Yeah, Tim Duncan then. <laughs> Came out and he's a loser him. and he's ugly. <laughs> yeah, he's Donald J- Trump now. Joey Crawford said, "I back <laughs> up Ed," and he tripped and fell. <laughs> <laughs> the the fans in the chat are fans of yours, and especially your accent. Can we get a sound the like bears what Mike was doing quick before you? <laughs> leave? I turned him slowly, turned him into Trump. What do you need? The <laughs> bears. <laughs> oh, you mean the bears? Oh. Yeah, blowjob. <laughs> he still did the bears really good. So. Yeah, like a New Yorker would. <laughs> Close enough. He said, just like a New Yorker. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Nah, like, Dodge Jets, what I was nah. looking for. Still like when Mike goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck you think I'm asking you for, bitch? And then he, then he says, I'm a New Yorker. I'm like, ah. Oh, oh, let, oh. Let's listen from Mike's oh, yeah. excited. Yeah. 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 The fans in the chat are fans of yours, and especially your accent. Can we get a The Bears real quick before you leave? What do you need? The Bears. Oh, you mean the Bears? Oh, yeah. the Bears? Hey, listen, <laughs> I, you know, I'm a New Yorker, oh, boy, but I'm also a Chicagoan, ah. so what should I do? Ah. Yeah, everybody can email me, up. let me know. <laughs> yeah, the, ah. yeah. yeah, and then like, oh, I'm from uh, New York. Uh, <laughs> email me. <laughs> email me, tell me how big a douche I am. <laughs> Tell me, was Trigger Mike right? <laughs> <laughs> Why does he talk like the old timey guy? Now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you mean the Bats? The Bats, <laughs> see? But you know, I'm from New York. <laughs> Go the Jets. Sorry. Hit me on the Telegram. <laughs> <laughs> Go the Jets. <laughs> Morse code me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you the dot, 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 dash, 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 <laughs> see? <laughs> I sounded a little quagmire. I get it, I get it. Whew. This the show has uh, oh, gone off the rails. A little bit, a little like, bit. Like Imagine a crazy that. train. <sighs> last story we'll get to it quickly. Vikings mascot wants two million dollars. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Who doesn't? <laughs> right. <laughs> He's getting paid currently fifteen hundred dollars a game to be the little mascot. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred per game. Every home game and then playoff games. Every yeah, every home game preseason. I like how you said playoff. That's cute. Yeah, that's yeah. cute, right? This is the Vikings. Helpful. Even the story mm-hmm. said eight home games and two preseason right. games. Yes. <laughs> Didn't even like, think of playoff games. Didn't even get there because oh, it's the Vikings. Man. Not and if the they Bears. got there, they wouldn't be hosting. Right. Uh, and he wants 20000 per game. And the owner said, yeah, we get to the playoffs. You got it. Yeah, that's right. 20000 per game for the next 10 years. Does he own the suit? I think he does actually. Oh, and the bike. Wow. He's an independent and the bike. contractor. Yeah. yeah, and the motorcycle. Oh, He's shit. an independent contractor who's you know then hired by the Vikings. But uh, he's well, then yeah. in all fairness, he came out <laughs> well, and said afterwards, he's like, "I thought this was the start of a negotiation. I didn't think I was actually going to get that." Brock, money. but they. <laughs> 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 you're Brock. We need a lesson. Still no lesson. Oh yeah, you're gonna work on the lesson. Uh, yeah, come on. But he came out and said that, that one, you know he he wasn't uh, he wasn't gonna actually think he was gonna get paid that much. He thought it was the start of a negotiation. Right. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. That's the negotiation. I went twenty million or whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're over, fired. Over ten years. <laughs> yeah. Over ten years. Twenty mil. Yeah, it's like your your fantasy trades. You got to aim high <laughs> first. <laughs> I'm making more than these kickers nowadays. <laughs> He's been watching too many store drawers where you like you start <laughs> high and sell low. Yeah. You know? I'll take eighteen million dollars. Yeah. That was a little movie voice, guys. <laughs> eighteen million dollars. <laughs> well, they can't afford to make a new mascot, anyways. Even if they turn them down, right? They can't even yeah. afford a new stadium. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's like true. slow roll. Yeah. yeah, you want twenty million? Talk to the city council. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, they'll pay you. And uh, also, 
Gronk if you're horny. <laughs> oh, hey. Mm. Gronk, Gronk. Yo, but, the guy, but the guy should do Uh-oh. is, since he rides the, you know, the, the bike out there and everything, mm-hmm. talk to like Honda or Suzuki or whatever to ride Ooh, one of their bikes out there, sponsor him. He's, yeah. He is a you know free agent or personal contract or whatever. So theoretically, he could ride out on whatever bike he wants. There you go. Yeah. Crazy. Contractor. Yeah. Yeah. That's Actually, right. be his agent. Mm-hmm. You. How about this? Midlife. <laughs> Grow a beard. Yeah. Drive out in your Uber mobile. <laughs> dress I'll be all, it, all over the field. Dress it up like a Viking ship. There you go. Put some I sails on it and yeah. some like paddles hanging out the side. Yeah. yeah. And raping people on the side. Of course. Know. And he was getting paid fifteen hundred. He wants twenty thousand. Go out there for like three thousand a game. That's more than you make Ubering. Yeah. Almost. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could be the new Vikings mascot. I'm gonna look into that. You should. <laughs> Midlife is drunk <laughs> and down to Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody need a ride? Yeah. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> oh man <laughs> I think that's it for tonight <laughs> Have I played all the sounds? Uh, yes, I believe I have Yep What about uh, Kevin Johnson Greg in the Hall has of Fame? lost oh, all yeah. control of this show <laughs> I didn't play this one Kevin Johnson will, will never make the Hall of Fame, of fame. He's pew, not even going to make the Mayor's pew, Hall of Fame Pew, pew, pew <laughs> Get out your pillows. <laughs> Mike is talking MMA. Uh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, anything else anyone else liked? Mm-hmm. Mm. Tom Brady isn't the only one who likes his balls tender. Th- this one. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> he. Re- I didn't ask him for that one. After he did the grunk, if you're a horny, he just said, what does that even mean? Oh, what man. is a gronk? <laughs> I was like, really? You don't know what a gronk? Oh, man. Have you watched? He's too busy, like, perfecting Aaron his voice. Aaron Hernandez so. taking yeah. out his own form of justice. Gronk. Did someone Butter. say titties? Oh, that's the best one. That is a good one. Someone get that man another beer. Lesnar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, do you know what we need next is... Uh, he is the one in. Oh god! Oh wow! <laughs> oh man! You want to burp a whole sentence? <laughs> yeah, I might have some throw up with that. <laughs> <laughs> I might need a new microphone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this show has gone long yeah. enough. Yeah, uh, we apologize for last week's show. You're welcome. And we apologize yeah, for this week's show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a kiss my ass burp. <laughs> mm-hmm. That'd be good. <laughs> or oh hell yeah, <laughs> or something. All right, let's hit the music. That means we're getting out of here. Uh, thank you guys for listening and joining in. Thanks for those who listen live. Don't forget to check us out at thecharitystrike.com, facebook.com slash thecharitystrike. At the Charity Strike on the old TWAP box, of course, number to sex, text, and or call is 805-419-3679. Don't forget to uh, listen to my other show, the I Want to Know podcast. Currently, Drag Queen Comedian is on there. Oh. Say, fellas. Yeah. Don't worry. It's not Mike. He's not a comedian. No. And, uh, coming <laughs> He's up not next, funny at all. That's right. Coming up next is a Playboy Centerfold. So check Ooh. that out. I will check that one out. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so on that note, yeah, you don't need to listen video. to yourself. <laughs> on that note, good night, everybody. Later, bitches. <laughs> Raping Katie in the morning. Pew, pew. Pew, pew.